Hello, I'm Lotus Meats for the Capital Network and joining me from Botanics Pharmaceuticals is its founder and executive director, Matthew Callahan. Matthew, welcome. Thank you. Now, you are an expert in the life sciences industry. When it comes to Australia, what are the trends that you're really noticing at the moment? So I think it's a really exciting time in biotech in Australia at the moment. Not only is there a lot of capital being invested in the industry here, but we're starting to see some significant exits of ASX listed companies being acquired by international companies. And, and Viralytics' recent $500 million exit is a great example of that. What other deals have perhaps been on your radar that you think are, are worth, worthy of investor attention? So there's a number of uh, great Australian companies that are developing fantastic technology and rapidly developing products through the clinic. Uh, Oncosil comes to mind as a, as a very well supported company in this market. But there's a number of other companies that are beginning to move beyond the early stage uh, that Australian companies are generally known for based on great science through to development stage assets that can be transacted. Now, when it comes to the company you founded, Botanics Pharmaceuticals, you're focused on the dermatology sector and, and really finding solutions for the problems mm -hmm. uh, that people with skin may suffer with. Where do you see that global opportunity at? What, again, from an investor perspective, why should they be excited about dermatology? Well, dermatology is a fantastic industry. It's about a $40 billion market worldwide. Um, and there's been very little innovation occur in this industry over the last 20 years. For instance, there's been no new products approved to treat acne in the last 20 years. So there's really good opportunities for new products to come to market that are safe, provide new solutions for patients. And that's what we're doing at Botanics. We have two programs going into phase two studies at the moment, uh, which makes us one of the more mature dermatology companies in the world. So finally, Matthew, what do you believe are the most exciting areas that investors should be looking at in the life sciences industry? Well, I think there's a number. I mean, we're seeing fantastic strides made both in gene therapy and immunotherapy, uh, creating new solutions, particularly for things like uh, intractable cancers where there have been no effective therapies. We're seeing cures of, of many dr dramatic diseases. And I think this science-driven approach that life sciences is now very much focused on is moved us away from kind of the generic approach uh, and into exciting new areas of research. Wonderful, thank you for your insights today. Thank you.